Dear colleagues, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the divide and conquer technique of fecal multiplication. This video is being dedicated to the ophthalmology residents all over the world. This is the basic technique and you get to know your machine very well through this technique. This is very safe and only thing is you have to go to a deeper level to divide the nucleus into fragments. If your trench is superficial, it is not going to divide. The depth of the trench should be at least two thirds of the thickness of the lens, not half at least two third. So by this time hydrodissection has been done, nucleus has been mobilized and now inject viscoelastic substance, this is 2% HPMC and now introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece and you're going to make two trenches which are at 90 degree to each other so you're going to make a plus sign remove some superficial cortical lens matter and now turn the handpiece make the bevel up and now start sculpting at this time the vacuum is very low in this case I have used only 60 millimeter of mercury vacuum flow rate is 22 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy is 60 percent so as I said you have to make a deep trench at least two third of the thickness of the lens. The FECO tip is 2.8 millimeter so if it gets into the trench you are at a sufficiently deeper level. Another thing is if you can see red glow at the floor of the trench you are at a sufficiently deeper level. At this time I had to come out because the bottle had to be changed. Now I go again and I have to make these trenches deep. Yes, you can see faint red glow at the floor of the trench. Now the trench at 90 degree, it also has to be of same depth. And now once you are sure that you are at a right depth, you just use opposite forces with two instruments. One is facultive, another one is your chopper and divide the fragments into divide the nucleus into fragments and now you go to FECO 2 mode in FECO 2 mode in this machine I have used 350 millimeter of mercury vacuum and 35 ml per minute flow rate this is Oatly Catrix 3 every machine is different and you have to ask your senior what vacuum and what flow rate you must start with. You should start with safe parameters. And now you come out after managing the nucleus and epinucleus and inject viscoelastic substance. One more thing is during when you are sculpting, you must sculpt and move. Don't move forward 
without sculpting don't push the nucleus and now you're going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for cortical cleanup yes it is very easy and it looks elegant uh, at this time the irrigation is from the right side and aspiration from the left and most of the cortical matter has been removed by this time now I change hands irrigation from the left aspiration from the right and here it is the cortex is cleaned and now viscoelastic substance is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and inflate the capsula back and now this is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens going into the capsula bag if it doesn't go into the capsula bag at on shot use your sense key hook go through the right side port or left side port if your dominant hand is left and then place the lens in the bag and now whatever viscoelastic substance is there Irrigate it out with the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. Go behind the lens and irrigate the capsula bag. Irrigate the anterior chamber and the capsula bag very nicely so that all the viscoelastic substance come out. And then use irrigation and aspiration together. Yes. Thorough removal of viscoelastic substance takes a little time and you should give that time and now I'm going to inject a bit of moxifloxacin and then use balanced salt solution to hydrate corneal stroma on either side of the side ports the corneal, corneal stroma becomes thick and the stab wounds close by a position of the anterior leaf and the posterior leaf and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber anterior chamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will guide you in doing your first few cases of fecal emulsification Please take help of your senior and watch this video again and again and do your first few cases. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.